The crisis in Syria has affected millions of people, but one unusual story is making recent headlines. As the news hours Rana Natur explains, a Syrian man is stuck in limbo in an airport, unable to leave. As you can hear, I am uh, at the airport. Hassan al Kantar, a Syrian national, has been living in Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur airport for over 60 days. I don't know what should I do. Someone advised me to make a video. Stuck in legal limbo because of his immigration status, the 36-year-old has taken to video blogging life inside the airport. And this sound, I, I, I swear to I hate this sound. It's everywhere. His story draws parallels to the 2004 Tom Hanks film, The Terminal, about a man stuck in an airport after a war erupts in his country. Are we headed for home? No, uh, I am delayed a uh, long time. And like Hanks' character, Alcantar must be resourceful. He spoke to us via Skype. Things you will never think outside it's an issue will become a major issue. Like what? Uh, like, uh, like when you are when you are going to sleep, where you are going to sleep, what to eat. Alcantar showers in the airport bathroom and sleeps in this stairwell. I may also uh, secretly uh, smoke a cigarette or half a cigarette uh, quickly on the bathroom. When the Syrian war began in 2011, Alcantar was living in the United Arab Emirates where he was an insurance marketing manager. When his Syrian passport expired, Alcantar says he stayed illegally in the UAE because he feared returning to Syria would mean forced military service. They will take me and uh, they may jail me first for some uh, investigations. And uh, then after that, they will send me to one of the uh, military training. In 2017, Alcantar was deported to Malaysia, one of the few countries that grant Syrians an entry visa. But that visa soon expired. He then bought a ticket to Ecuador, a country that would also allow him entry. But the airline would not let him board because that flight stopped in Turkey, a country he is not allowed to enter. All the other flights go to countries that could send him back to Syria. He has become a fixture in the small transit terminal, recognized constantly by passengers. They want to take selfies and they are a bit shy of them. So I start uh, telling them, would you like to take a selfie? Now a volunteer group is trying to bring him to Canada, raising over $16,000 to sponsor him. But the application takes over two years to process. The group is asking the Canadian government to grant Alcantar a special permit so he can enter Canada immediately. Lori Cooper is one of those volunteers. He has lost his life. As a Syrian refugee, he has lost his homeland, he has lost his family, his friends. So I just hope that we can convince the Canadian government to give this guy the chance to come to Canada and build a life in a safe country. But Alcantar's immigration nightmare may be far from over. Canada's Ministry of Immigration tells the NewsHour that the request is under review. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Rana Natur.